All right. Um, good day, everyone. My name is um, Mr. Aminu Kabir, and today our topic is going to be measurements and units. Uh, before we um, talk about measurements and units, I just want to bring our attention to um, what physics is all about. And by definition, physics is as a field of science that studies the fundamental properties of matter and its energy, how these fundamental properties of matter relate to their energy in respect to time, space, and, and others. So in that case, so um, measurement is very, very important in physics. So let's quickly look at our objectives for today's lesson, we're going to try to see, um, try to identify the different measures. That's how we can measure um, lengths, masses, and also time. Also, we're going to see um, fundamental quantities and unit examples, and also some of their symbols, if time permits. Then we'll look at derived quantities and their derivations, and uh, also their units with examples. All right, so um, we'll just we'll, we'll, we'll go forward. Um, first, um, like I said, physics, it, it's all about the, the study of fundamental properties of matter and its energy. So measurement is actually a fundament, is, is the fundamental of physics, which is we measure everything in physics and the accuracy matters a lot. The, uh, you're, you're going to get you're going to, to understand what I mean by, by the accuracy of measure matters a lot as we go further in the lesson. Um, first, we're going to look at length. Uh, length is the extent of space between two points, and we have a whole lot of um, instruments we can use to measure length depending on on the type of length you want to measure. We have um, tape rule, uh, meter rule, vernier caliper and the screw gauge and ECT. So um, smaller length distance are measured using a vernier caliper. And all, apart from um, um, that smaller length, we also look at, if you're looking at the internal diameter of um, a cylinder or the external diameter of a cylinder, what you want to use to measure this is your vernier caliper. And also, uh, if you were looking at the thickness of a paper, for example, what you want to use to measure this is a micrometer screw gauge. So quickly, let's see how we can actually um, use or apply um, vena caliper, for example, to measure small distances. Uh, vena caliper is used to measure small lengths, okay? That, that is um, to say from zero to 15 centimeter. And these um, calipers come in handy in measuring the diameters of circular objects. Just like I said earlier, you want to find um, the diameter of um, erect, sorry, a, a cylinder, you'll be able to use a vernier caliper to actually measure that either internal diameter or um, the external diameter of the cylinder as well too. And most importantly, it's reading accuracy. The reading accuracy of a vernier caliper is um, 0 0.01 centimeter. And um, it consists of the following, as you can see in your screen here, we have the inside jaws like this inside jaws is used to measure the internal diameter of a cylinder if you want to measure a cylinder then the outside jaw now this outside jaw is used to measure the external diameter of a cylinder just like i said earlier then importantly we have the main scale which is this you can see it here and we have the vinyl scale the reason why I say it is very important is because these are what you're going to use to take your readings. If you don't know how to read the main scale and the final scale, then um, we'll have issues. But before we move further, there are some certain things I need us to, to, to take note of here, which is first the accuracy of the vernal scale and the length at which it can measure. Now, these are the two things we need to take note of here the accuracy and the length at which it can measure. The accuracy is 0 0.01 um, centimeter. And why the length it can measure is just 15 centimeter. So um, let's quickly move to how we can actually use this to measure. 
Now, oh, before that, let's let me explain something. This in pink here, you can see this is actually the vena caliper, and the the main the venial scale, sorry, and this in white is the um, main scale. So, this is normally represented in your textbook in in this form. This is the main scale up here. You can see I'm indicating it with a blue arrow, and this is the venial scale here. Okay, so let's take this reading, for example. Um, let's take this reading. Now, if we want to measure this, take this measurement, we, we have to count. This is four centimeter per se here. Now, this simply means um, from here to here is one centimeter. Mm -hmm. That means this first markings here is 4.1 centimeter. 4.2 centimeter, three, four, five, and so on and so forth. Then we're going to, how do we take the reading now of this? We'll take the reading by looking at these zero markings on the venial scale for the main scale. We're going to take reading in two ways. We're going to take the, the main scale reading and we're going to take the venial scale reading. Now for the main scale reading, how do we take the reading? You see where the zero markings is on the venial scale we trace it up to the main scale. So this way is here. So we can say this is four. This is going to be um, 4.1, 4.2, 4.3, and let's say 4.35 because it's in between them, 4.35. So we can just put that down somewhere and say um, main, I will present that with M, sorry about that. Let me take the pen again. I will represent the main scale with an M and this is uh, Sorry, I'm so sorry about that. I don't know, I'm having issues with my mouse. Okay, I'm um, sorry about that. I'm going to represent the main scale with an M and this will be, please I beg your pardon, just bear with me a little. Um, okay, main scale M. Okay, this is equal to just like we say 4.35. So we're going to have four, Point. Um. All right, please uh, give me a sec. I. Sorry about that. I need to change my mouse and uh... Please come and get me your mouse. In the bathroom. Check for it, please. Okay. I am I'm very, very sorry about, about that. I don't know what's happening to my mouse, but uh, we can we can continue now while I try to fix my mouse. So um like I said, my main skill will be equal to um, four. Four point. Uh, I sincerely apologize for this. Um, main scale should be, will be four.
All right. Uh, please just bear with me while I try to fix uh, what's happening. Can you please stop the recording for a while? Hello, are you with me? Hello? Yes, yes, I'm here. Please just stop, stop the recording for a while. Thank you. Okay, so I'm sorry. I'm, I'm I sincerely apologize for what just happened right now. I'm having issues with my mouse. So um, we said the reading is um, four point three five. That's what we have for the main skill. Then um, we, the next thing we're going to do right now is to take the reading of the venial scale. So how do we do that? We are going to look through this venial scale, which of the lines or the markings and the venial um, scale is in line with the markings on the uh, main scale. So if you look at this, you find out that this is closer to this, but it's not in line. This is also closer, but also not in line. This is close, not in line, but five, you'll see five is perfectly in line with, um, with this right here. So we're going to take our reading from here. This is one, two, three, three, four, five, and this is five here. So we'll take it, um, vinyl scale V will be equal to five. Now, remember I made mention of the accuracy of the vinyl caliper. We said is um, zero point, zero one centimeter okay that's the accuracy so what we do now we multiply the accuracy by the vinyl scale reading so five times um, zero point zero one okay so this is centimeters so once we we multiply this then we'll get we'll get our answer. So if we multiply this, we're going to get um zero point. This will be equal to um zero. This will be zero point zero point zero five so 0 0.05 plus then we're going to add this to the main scale 0 0.05 to the main scale so once we we'll, we'll add this we're going to get the total distance will be four point four point four zero centimeter All right, so um, this is the distance that is measured on the diagram above. Then the next thing we want to look at is the screw gauge, or uh, you can also call it micrometer screw gauge. Just like I said, and a micrometer screw gauge can be used to actually measure very small distance. And um, it is actually, it can measure from zero to um, 2.5 centimeter and the reading accuracy of the micrometer screw gauge is 0 0.001 centimeter or you can simply say 0 0.1 millimeter and just as we can see here the micrometer screw gauge also has two scales just like the vernier the vernier caliper it has two scales um we have uh, the, the part of the micrometer screw gauge includes the, the anvil, the spindle. We have um, that on our center line, which is this. We have the main scale. This is the main scale, actually. Then we have the timbo scale. This is it. For vernier caliper, we have the final scale. While for the uh, micrometer screw gauge, we have the timbo scale. Then we have the racket. OK, this is just like a screw to ensure that you have a firm holding of the object here. Uh, in between this, the and the unveil and the spindle, so um, we're going to see how we can use this micrometer screw gauge to measure maybe the external diameter. Also, uh, measure the external diameter of um, of an object, and you can use it to measure the thickness of an object or the thickness of a paper as well too. 
So here we have this here is the main scale, while this here is the vernal scale. Now, um, remember, it, it's very important for us to note the, the, the accuracy, okay? So let's quickly note that. Um, the accuracy of, of this scale is um, 0 0.001 centimeter or 0 0.1 millimeter. So, okay, let's move to how we can use this to measure. Now, we look at the two scales very well. Uh, we have zero here and we have markings. If this is zero, this is one, two, three. Now you, you see other markings below the um, this line here. Now these markings indicate um, 0 0.5. Okay, this is 0 0.5 and this is one, this is 1.5, this is two, this is 2.5 and this is three here. So you can see here indicated with an arrow three um, millimeter. That's great. So here you can see as well too in the Timbu scale, there's a Timbu scale. Um, you can see we have, it starts also from zero, zero here, we have five, we have 10, we have 15 and so on and so forth. So you, if we want to take this reading, for example, this is um, three millimeter. So uh, let me quickly put that down. Um, main scale, as usual, represented with an M is equal to three millimeter, okay? Then, and the Vinus, the Timbu scale now, so for the Timbu scale, we're going to represent it with a T. And Timbu scale, we have nine. How do you take the, 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 the Timbu scale? Just the way we, we did for and the Vinus scale. You're going to find the markings on the Timbu scale that is in line with that, um, with, with this line here. The markings on the Timbu scale that is in line with the markings on, 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 on the Timbu scale. That is how you take your reading. So if you look very, if you look closely, you find that the, the nine markings on the Timbu scale is in line with that on the main scale here. So the Timbu scale will, will be equal to what? Will be equal to nine. Okay, nine. So what do we do again? Remember we're, we're counting in, uh, we're measuring in millimeters. So here for the Timbu scale, we're going to multiply it by the accuracy of the measuring um, of, of the micrometer screw gauge. So what do we say again is the accuracy in millimeter? We'll say the accuracy is 0 0.1 millimeter, right? So let's go ahead and, and do the math. So if we have M, is equal to three and then T is equal to nine. So we'll multiply nine by zero point, point one. So don't forget these are all in 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 millimeters. So if you multiply this, you're going to have um this is going to be equal to um, 0 0.9 millimeter. So add it to the main scale. So you're going to have, um, that's three plus 0 0.9. This will be equal to three point nine millimeter. All right, so um, if this is clear, we'll move to the next um, thing we'll be looking at today. Now, this is just like an exercise. Uh, basically, you see um, things like this in your textbook, in WIAC exams, NECO, and the rest of them, the objective probably, where you have um, this here is the is the main scale, and this is the Timbu scale, um, just like the way we did for the other one. Okay, so we're going to take our reading now. Now we we'll check very very well. We count now. This is twenty. 
now let's make this um 20 uh let's see let's let's see how it is actually calibrated this is 15 so we have one two three four five uh to give us 20 that means for One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this will be 21. Okay, uh, this 20.5. Um, this will be 21. And this will be 21.5. And this will be 22. So we just put it down that our main scale is um, equal to 22. Okay. Is equal to 22. And now let's look at the timbre scale. Now this is 20. We're going to look for the line, the marking on the timbre scale that is in line with the datum here on the main scale. The datum is the center line. So we'll find out that this is it here. It's in line. So we count, this is um 25, this is 30. Okay, we'll say 31, 32, 33, it's 33. So um, timbre scale T, is equal to um, 33. Okay, so um, remember what do we do? We multiply by 0 0.1 millimeters. So by the time we do that, um, we're going to get Sorry, uh, hold on. We're going to get, and this will be equal to um, 3.3. 3. So if we add this to this, we're going to have the, the we're going to have um, 22 plus, Three point three. So this will be twenty five point three. So um, this this will be our reading here. So. Let's move to the next. If this is clear, let's move to the next slide. Um, here we're going to look at um, fundamental quantities and uh, derived quantities. So um, fundamental quantities are actually basic quantities that are independent of other quantities. Okay, just like we said, and in physics, measurement is very very important. And um, the basic system or the basic quantities of measurement is actually referred to as fundamental quantities. Why um, derived quantities is obtained by a simple combination of basic quantities. That is simple combination of one or two fundamental quantities will give you um, derived um, quantities, okay, and unit. So um, let's quickly, let's look at um, what of the, um, the fundamental quantities include, uh, we have mass, Okay, we have length, we have time, we have electric current, temperature, amount of substance, and luminous intensity. So um, th th these are the basic um, quantities we have and, and their units. Length is measured in meters, mass is measured in kilogram, and um, time is measured in seconds, yeah? Yeah, uh, okay, talking about time, uh, part of our objective, we're also, we're supposed to look at time. Um, time is simply sequence of events taking place. That, that's what time is. A sequence of events taking place is time. And the unit for time is um, seconds. And uh, we have a lot of instruments using measuring time. So uh, these this instruments include um, your wall clock, your stopwatch, um, your sun sundials, um, you have your hourglass, and, and so on and so forth, okay? Your pendulum clock, 
pocket um, watch and the rest of them. While and the stopwatch is actually used to measure um, um, interval of time, right? Yeah, interval of time. So uh, I think that's that is uh, set for the clock. Then um, length, just as we we'll see earlier, length is actually um, the space between two points, and it's actually measured in um, in meters. Then we have mass. Mass is simply the amount of matter in a body. Um, that is what mass is, and it's measured in kilograms. Then uh, we have electric current, um, temperature, and the, um, the degree of hotness or coldness of the body is measured in Kelvin. That's the fundamental unit. Then we have amount of substance, okay, which is measured in moles. Then also luminous inten intensity. So luminous intensity is simply talking about how bright um, light is, okay? The light is, so that's luminous intensity and it's measured in candela. So um, basically where we're going to do lots of the work here, it's um, the drive unit, okay? Um, drive unit, just like we said earlier, we said it is, it is obtained by a simple combination of, uh, of basic quantities and um, units. So the first we have area, volume, density, velocity, acceleration, force, energy, work, power, momentum, pressure, electric current. Uh, what we need to note here is let's let's note the um the basic um quantities and units. Okay, uh, we're, we're going to see how we're going to apply them quickly, uh, shortly. So. Let's move. Uh, we're going to start with the first on drive quantity, which is area. Okay, so let's see area. We want to prove that drive quantities are gotten from um, simple um, combination of two or more fundamental uh, units. Hello, sir. So, yeah, yes, have, I can um, hear you. Less than 10 minutes. Nine minutes. Okay. Okay, okay. So um, if we have, because of the time factor, we're going to see some a few of them. So if we have length, area is actually length times breadth, right? So length, L, times um, breadth, B. Okay, so if that's the case, then we'll, um, length is measured in meters, while breadth also is measured in meters. So if you multiply this, you're going to have, meters square so you see um area is a fundamental is a is a derived unit because it's simply the the the, the simple combination of two um fundamental units meter and meter that's length and length to give us meter square then let's quickly look at um density before we go we have Less like ten minutes. So density. So for our density, density is simply mass, mass over volume, v. So um, if we do this, we're going to have mass is measured in kilogram. So divided by volume is measured in um, meter square, which is meter cube, sorry, which is a simple combination of three fundamental um, quantity there as a length times breadth times height. So this will give us a kilogram per meter cube. So it is um, a derived unit, which is a simple combination of the units, the fundamental units of mass and um, length, three different lengths to give us this. So we have more of them like velocity, we have acceleration and, and, and so on and so forth. Uh, because of the time factor, I guess we're just going to see this too. But if you have um, questions and you need me to, I think to just leave your questions and I will attend to them. So any question so far? I think we'll draw it to a close here. So um, 
Can anyone hear me? Yes, yes, very well. Okay, so I, I sincerely apologize for um, the glitches that happened um, earlier with my mouse. I 